the Phoenix Suns, they have a process going on. They're starting to sell their team, as we spoke on last episode. But this time, we have some numbers. And so Robert Sarver, basically, who is the majority owner of the Phoenix Suns, is basically doing a package deal. Um, he has the right to sell the entire team, both of them, Phoenix Suns and Phoenix Mercury. So he has... Uh, no, so the Phoenix Suns are worth 1.9 million right now, but by the time they sell, they're gonna sell for upwards of billions. But they're not worth much right now. And I had to Google three different things and look at three different articles from major sites. Why not? To to look, I'm like 1.9 million. They're like, no, it's really worth nothing right now because of everything going on and other things. So basically, they're gonna sell though for the big money, but right now they're not worth much. Even the Mercury, the Phoenix Mercury, worth like 15 million like 10 or five or 10 million i mean mm. excuse me so basically right now what they're doing is they're trying to get around a 2.2 2.5 billion mark to sell both well the team and then the mercury will basically come with it but have their cut so they're in the process of doing that now the minority owners are trying to fight him but the percentage he has is enough and it's only 36 percent he, he owns i mean he has no choice he he did that <laughs> He did that hot stuff, you know. Yeah, like you have no choice. Racist, you, you're you know making uh, sexual advances at people that you know are in your creek, you know. Especially, you are the boss. You're the owner. Like, you think somebody don't want to get rich off of you? Checking out men's packages. Yeah, Hold and on. speaking, yeah, speaking ready R about people that he shouldn't. So, um, he's gonna just do. But sadly enough, he owns enough and has majority votes to sell everything when they really wanted him to step down. So, as far as that goes. It seems like uh, Phoenix Suns will be making a move sometime soon. And I don't think it's in Seattle. I think we'll get, like, the Clippers or something. I don't think. We're going to get an expansion team. Yeah, I, I, I don't think we're going to get that. that. We're going to get a made-up team. Who doesn't have a um... – Vegas is the only people that are willing to, yeah, okay, or, Vegas, to, yeah. to put a team there. So They've that's what I'm money saying. money into their place, too. Yeah, they, they got brand-new stadium, brand-new arena. It's going to be going down. Mm -hmm. So, basically, I know that for a fact. We're probably going to get an expansion team. We're not, we're not going to get no – team already made, you know, especially having to fight for a name, change names, and we want our own name back from the Thunder. I hope we can get some Seattle blood in the front office whenever we get a team. Yeah. You know, because how you, Seattle does, they'll they'll put, you know. Somebody not from here don't give a damn. Don't their homie, their colleague, yeah. you yeah. know, uh, you know, off instead of putting some. So I hope a Seattle basketball mind gets to be office, at least one of them, you yeah. know. Okay. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Excuse me? 